Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Divine One, Light is you and Light is flowing into you and this Light within you is capable of anything, anything. It is true potential, it is malleable, flexible. It can be given any instructions via your consciousness and completely, effortlessly, perfectly fulfill them. In fact, it does. This is why it's so important to expand your capacity to imagine and to choose to expand your ability to envision yourself having the experiences you wish to have. To expand your ability to sequence thoughts together to create new patterns of experience. As you do all of these things upgrading and refining your consciousness to more supportively, generously richly reflect your desires the light within you, that takes form and creates experiences and stays the same. The light within you doesn't need to change. Yet your outcomes will begin to change. This is the result of being in a different state of consciousness and teaching your consciousness so to speak. Feeding your consciousness would be more accurate, planting within your consciousness new more empowering beliefs. Really, ultimately, you are learning to think in positive unlimited ways. In the individual sessions Meredith is doing we're helping you to discover your limiting beliefs and refrain them and revise them. Create new ideas you're willing to embrace as beliefs and then get them established. You can do this yourself. It will generate powerful results in your life. The way to do this is to consider anything in your life that continually feels like a struggle and decide to sit down and sort it out. Look at the ideas you have about it. Be willing to release those and then be willing to imagine and create new beliefs that support what you wish to feel and experience. Then practice thinking them, generate from them. Return to them like a mantra, get them familiarly established as reference points in your mind and then watch the world reformat around you to reflect your new beliefs. You are here in the most exciting of times for human beings. Human beings are sorting out all kinds of more clear and accurate realizations about the way things work and about the nature of consciousness. About the interconnectedness of life and the capacity you have through positive unlimited thoughts to become masterful in living here. Learning to reshape your consciousness to become increasingly positive and flexible, and unlimited, is a pathway to merging with your divine self. The light within you, that flexible, powerful, Capable intelligence comes to you as a flow from your divine self and to open up that flow to greater capacity is to accelerate your life. You have within you the tools and the know-how to do this. It is simply a matter of loving yourself enough to take the time to do this. We suggest each day you spend time investing in your own abilities to think in neutral and unlimited ways, and to think in ways and learn to believe things that will support you and your desires. To see your consciousness with thoughts and beliefs that will support the identity in your life you wish to experience. You can change the way you experience yourself in this life by changing the beliefs and ideas you hold about who you are. Learn how to change your thoughts, learn how to put more powerful, uplifted, aligned thoughts into your mind and think them often enough that they feel solid and real to you like beliefs. There is then is nothing to fear, underneath all fear what is there? Fear is the feeling generated from those thoughts, the same with worry. Name the thought, look for them, sort them out. Then take a clear look at them and ask yourself are these thought real? Is this really likely to occur? If it did occur could I handle it? In essence, stare down the thoughts that are generating the fear. Diminish their power by looking at them and calling forth your divine self to help you reshape your beliefs and ideas. You can do this in ways such that the climate of your consciousness actually becomes inhospitable to the thoughts that create the feelings of fear. These thoughts cannot exist in an active stimulated way in a consciousness which feels unlimited and capable of generating in the material. They will become aberrant and disconnected from their triggers and in fact, you won't think them anymore. They'll still be present in your consciousness, you don't need to clear them out, but you can deactivate them. You can deactivate them, you can create new sequences. You can create new ways of allowing yourself to experience your life. You are living that with more capacity than you've ever had before. 
even if you do not yet have more money, you have more capacity for wealth and you are feeling better about money and when you feel better about money, life will change. You are opening up to new ideas of what is possible for you and as you persist in these ways of focusing and thinking and if you persist in ways that will help you to feel better and better about money, money will come to you. There is no way for it not to. For as you begin to feel differently so then you are transforming your vibrations. Law of attraction is reliable. We want to close this focus fest by turning our attention to ideas about work and how you relate to the ways in which you currently receive money. Many of you currently make money doing things you do not like, this is an equation you've established in your mind. I make money doing things I don't like. Is this an empowering belief? Of course not. We want to invite you to reshape your ideas about work even if you do not yet change your work. We want to invite you today to think about the ways you currently receive money in life and to see if the ways you're receiving money are linked to empowering beliefs about you and the way you want to experience the world or not. For some of you your current work is supporting you as you discover your life's work. For some of you your current work feels like a giant distraction from your life's work. For some of you your current work is the work that is most compatible with your family life in terms of scheduling so it lets you me with your children more when they are home and awake. It could be empowering that. Some of you have passionate interests that you'd like to be spending more time with. Some of you have spiritual things you love to do. Why not make this your work? Many spiritual beings find it hard to charge money for what they love. Unfortunately that becomes an equation you are directing the light within you with as well. I can't make money doing what I love. The light within you is taking orders. Is this the kind of direction you wish to give your experience? You can change this very simply by beginning to charge money for what you love. It doesn't have to be much but it can be amazingly powerful to stop giving away what you love and to start changing this paradigm by charging money for your interests or your passion, or for what you love. Even if you charge a small amount you are changing the game and later you can change the pricing so it serves you better. You can choose something small even that you feel comfortable with to begin but in doing all of this you are telling the light within you as consciousness, I make money from my interests and from what I love. Is this not a wonderful message to use to shape your life experience? There are so many amazing ways now to create an income based on your interests and what you love. In you world the internet has made a great deal possible for those of you wanting to shape your work uniquely. Whether you're going to sell your work online or sell it where you live, we encourage you to create your work such that it's a custom fit around who you are, what your interests are, and what you love. There are many people alive now who are doing this, who are doing work that fits them perfectly because they decided to learn how to charge for their interests and to shape their passions into a way of making money. The most amazing part of this is they get to spend much of their time now with their interests, doing what they love. If you do something else for work that you don't enjoy and you have deep and passionate interests you often feel you don't have enough time for your interests. When you love yourself you begin to see this. You begin to be less willing to do this. You might begin to see that you might make more time for your interests by learning how to charge money for them and to make them your career. Your work. The way to spend more time with your interests is not wish you did need not have money. It's not to want money to disappear. It's not to wish you didn't have to make a living. It's to make friends with money. We encourage you to make friends with money and to participate in your world in a financial way based on how you want to spend your time and what you want to experience in terms of financial abundance. You can do this. You can totally do this. You simply need to take the time to develop the ways of thinking and asking. To create self-talk and behavior that supports your desires. To support your desires is to care for your own life with loving attention and this too is a message to the conscious light within you. A message that says, I richly support myself and my desires. Isn't that a lovely idea to create as well as establish as a belief within you? Indeed. Today dear friends we'd like you to think about your interests. 
We'd like you to think about your work or the way you currently receive money. We'd like you to consider if there might not be a different arrangements of these components in your life that would allow you to nurture your experience to spend more time with the things you're interested in and that you love doing and being. Please consider the ways in which you receive money now as potentially something you might shift so that you might experience more happiness, more capacity for abundance, and the ability to customize your life more perfectly to fit who you really are. You don't have to change anything yet but let yourself freely consider all of this and look deeply at it. There is tremendous importance in you being happy and fulfilled and work is a contributor to this or it's something that diminishes your sense of satisfaction. It's important that you consider work an aspect of life which typically takes up a tremendous amount of your time as something which can be completely fulfilling and enjoyable. Today we invite you to open up that conversation with yourself in new way by realizing your capacity is changing. You're learning new things, and your ability to create your mindset to support the changes you might decide to make, is far expanded from what it's ever been before. I am Archangel Michael.